everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is clouds and nice to meet you so a couple of weeks ago i'll say two three weeks ago i posted a video about why you shouldn't do a business degree or choose a business major and a lot of people on that video were commenting things like oh like now i regret my choices or oh i wish i saw this before i did a business degree or i don't know what to choose now i'm really confused after watching this video and that was not the purpose of the video i wanted to make sure that everyone understands the cons but there are also so many pros to doing a business degree which is what i'm going to be talking about in this video to make sure that no one one gets the wrong idea that you know business degrees are the worst and you definitely shouldn't do them there are you know a lot of reasons why you should do a business degree so let's talk about those before I get into the video, I do want to remind everyone to please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me. I'm trying to make more videos and if you subscribe to my channel, it would really, really help me make more videos. So I'll be talking about the five reasons why you should study a business degree. And of course, there are more reasons than this, but let's start with five. So the first reason as to why you should study a business degree is because it is a very general subject. It's a very broad and general uh, major to take. And because of that, it is actually very suitable for those who are still not sure as to exactly what they want to do in the future. Business is kind of like a very good safety net to have. It's never going to be too risky and you do have a lot of different choices and different options outside of this degree when you graduate. So it's a good path to take if you're still unsure and unclear as to exactly what your career goals are. And this is exactly why I chose a business degree because at the time, I really wasn't sure what else I wanted to do. Um, at a point of my life, I really, really loved sciences. And I was thinking of, you know, going down the path of doing um, research and lab work because I knew I didn't want to be a doctor. Uh, however, I did like some work experience at a marine biology lab and I absolutely despised it uh, which kind of redirected me towards the path of business and now of course I am super happy I did it and it really is something that I see myself fit within and uh, it's kind of become a part of my identity almost so it is a, a really good path to take if you aren't sure what else is out there for you. Business is a safe and reliable option in those situations. My next reason as to why you should study business is because business can actually lead to very high paying jobs. In my previous video, I did mention that business doesn't necessarily lead you to you know very high paying jobs, but that doesn't mean that it won't lead you to high paying jobs. What I wanted to communicate in my last video was the fact that business won't immediately automatically lead you to high paying jobs just because you did business. But if you take the right steps, it is actually a really good path to high earning careers. So in this situation, it's like you won't necessarily make good money, but you can make good money kind of situation. For example, industries like investment banking, trading, consulting, uh, financial services, all these careers are very stable and a lot of them actually pay very, very high. The average graduate salary in investment banking, I would say is around 45K a year. This is for entry level straight out of university, which is well above the average salary across all degrees which for students you know going into your first job in the UK it's around 29,000 a year so yes if you go into investment banking you will be making a lot of money for consulting I'll say it's probably around 35k which is again still a little bit higher than average I want to remind you guys that for investment banking and consulting you don't have to study years and years and years to be able to go into this field and like medicine and like dentistry that are also very high earning careers at the start however you do have to study quite a lot so the return on investment might not be as attractive however it is not the case where if you do business you will become an investment banker or you'll become a consultant uh, it's not as linear as that there are you know a couple steps in the way to make sure that you get there uh, these are very competitive careers so it can be very hard to break through especially if you don't come from a target school so if you're doing business at a non-target school it can be extremely hard to break into these these industries which is why i said you know business won't necessarily lead to high earned career however if those careers are your goal then having a business degree will definitely be advantageous to your application process you will already know how to do interviews and you know it really helps when you have an overall understanding of how finance works of how uh, businesses work business models etc so yes business degrees can potentially earn you a lot of money if you play the right cards the third reason is kind of a stereotype but it's actually very true and it's the fact that that business students actually have a very light workload when it comes to uni. Um, me personally, when I compared my workload to my friend's workload, it was significantly less. 
I didn't have to, you know, do as many lecture slides. I didn't have to study as rigorously for my exams. Um, it was, I would say, considerably lighter to like the people that I knew that were studying economics or my medicine friends as well. They studied way more than I studied. Uh, engineering friends as well, you know, they, they had to do a lot more uh, prep and practice before their exams. And as a business student, I was kind of just chilling. Like I really was breezing through my degree not because i'm a genius but because it does have very light workload if you ask any of my friends during exam time they would always be killing themselves in the library and i would you know just be at home chilling the fact that i didn't have lectures was great because it meant that i could watch more k-dramas So yeah, it was like a very, it was like a little mini holiday almost. And this is not to say that it will be the same experience for everyone. Of course, it will depend on what modules you choose. It will depend on like your, your university as well. So I'm sure uh, if you're a business student at LSE, you'll probably have a lot more work than I had as a business student at Queen Mary University. However, in relative to other degrees, I do think that business is one of those degrees with the least amount of workload. And this is great because first of all, this means that you have extra time. You have extra time to work on extracurricular activities throughout second year in third year i was able to juggle a you know part-time job in banking uh, my degree applying to masters uh, being the president of the dance society and being events manager of abaca society and i probably wouldn't have been able to do these things if my workload was a lot more heavy having that pressure off of me from my degree and from an academic standpoint really allowed me to explore other opportunities to refine my portfolio and refine my cv secondly you can achieve a first a lot more easily i would say it's it's not easy in any sort of way it's just more achievable i would say because your workload is lower so if you really want to hustle and get that first it is doable so yes that is why i think it's a good option to do business because the first degree honors looks great on your cv and also having that extra time to work on other things work on your applications work on you know your career goals it's very very advantageous and it really makes time management a lot more efficient so the next reason as to why you should study a business degree is because I think business teaches people basic life skills that everyone should know. Uh, so everyone always makes that joke like, why are we learning the Pythagoras theorem? Why are we learning how to differentiate but we're not learning how to do taxes, right? People don't know what income tax means and people don't know what national insurance is. And if you go to the workforce, these are quite imperative things that you need to know. However, no one throughout your academic career has taught you how to do this. You know, the education system has completely failed us as children and as teenagers. But if you do a business degree, you will learn those essential life skills that I think everyone should know uh, especially when it comes to financial literacy that is something like that's a tool that I think everyone should have however it is not made accessible for everyone you know to profit the people at the top and because capitalism you know ensures that people who are poor stay poor which is why there isn't any financial literacy when it comes to our public school system but yeah business students learn these things uh, in business class you know we learn what dividends are we learn what uh, options are even though I'm still a little bit hmm. <laughs> we learn how to draw out financial statements we learn how to do cash flow forecasts and those are things that are very very helpful when you try to adult later in life and need to sort out your money the other skill that's not you know so much on the tax financials side that you learn from business that i think is a very essential uh life skill is presentation skills a lot of other degrees don't require their students to present publicly they don't teach their students how to sell and selling is an important skill in today's society not only selling products but selling yourself as a person for example all of us regardless of what course you're doing will need to do a job interview at a certain point and in my experience, business students are usually a lot more equipped to, to do interviews. They know how to present, they know how to speak, they know how to improvise a lot better uh, than some students who perhaps weren't given those skills during their degree. Because why would you need to learn how to present when you're you know, doing a degree in aerospace dynamics? But a business degree will put you in situations where you have to talk to people and network and understand how to use these soft skills in practice. And I think that's so important in my opinion and something that a lot of people lack because you can't learn soft skills by reading about it. You can't learn soft skills by researching on the internet. You have to be put in a position where you're forced to use these skills and 
when I was interviewing people who wanted to join investment banking but had very technical backgrounds, it sometimes was very hard for them to come across in a, in a way where they were able to articulate themselves in certain ways and they just didn't have those soft skills that are needed. And business students usually were a lot more comfortable in those scenarios where we asked them to portray their soft skills. Uh, so yeah, I think that's also another reason why you should definitely choose business. All right, the last reason as to why you should do a business degree is because there's a breadth of options that you can choose and you can choose to specialize in if you go into business. From the top of my head, you can go into marketing, you can go into human resources, you can go into logistics, you can go into sales, you can go into advertising, you can go into investment banking, you can go into finance, you can go into strategy, you can go into accounting, you can go into uh, auditing. There's a million options for you out there and these are positions that every single company will need not every single company will need an engineer not every single company will need a historian not every single company will need someone who majored in english literature but every single company will need an accountant every single company will need a strategist we're coming to a point in society where industries that are essential to human needs like uh, like healthcare education and infrastructure these industries are now colliding with digitalization. For example, the first thing that comes to my mind, of course, is education. Like after the pandemic, we're all learning from home. We've all needed to learn how to use Zoom. We've all needed to learn how to use technology to learn. And even teachers who are 60 years old, 70 years old, have to learn these skills. If you think about it, a company has to own those platforms. Like you know, Zoom is owned by someone, Microsoft Teams is owned by someone, Google is owned by someone, and all these companies need positions like marketing, finance, accountants, etc., to operate these businesses. If you look at healthcare as well, which is now also colliding with um, you know technology, and we have platforms like Babylon who are expanding health tech. You cannot just operate Babylon with doctors. You need people there who are able to market the platform, who are able to grow the platform. So yes, even though we don't really see business as like an essential uh, industry, it kind of is sadly enough to be honest, because everything is privatized, you know, these positions are extremely important. Unless you live in North Korea, then I don't know why you would ever want to do a business degree. So yes, those are the five reasons as to why you should do a business degree. And honestly, I did a business degree, I did a master's in management after that, and I am very, very happy that I did one. It did end up being a very great experience, and, and I don't know if I was to go back in time if I would choose another path. Like, I'd like to think that maybe I would choose like a STEM degree or computer science, but then again, I don't know if I would have the same opportunities as I have today had I not done business. So I definitely recommend this degree and for all the people who are panicking earlier on my other video about choosing business and now they regret their life choices, trust me, like there's so many good things about business degrees and hopefully this video put you guys at ease. Anyways, thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe if you can and comment if this video has helped you a little bit. Uh, I hope it has. But yes, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.